Hey guys, it's Mario here and I have a very special video for you today. It's a new type of video for the channel, which is going to be me analyzing situations and real life examples, case studies that you guys send in to an email that's going to be in the description below and breaking down what happened in the journey and what would be the next step. So for this video, I have a skinny fat transformation for you guys. This transformation took about two years sent in from a guy named Matt and I'm going to read his message. In the two year period, he put on 40 pounds of weight and he made a great transformation. I'm going to of course leave the pictures here so you guys can see what that looked like and we're going to analyze whether it's okay for him to start a cut and what would that cut approximately look like. So let's read the message first and the email that he sent in. So he said, Dear Mario, to be honest, I didn't feel very comfortable sending this message to you since I know that you're a very busy person. I'm taking your time. But for me, you are the most inspiring guy I've ever seen on the internet. And this is really humbling for me. And I want to thank Matt for taking the courage and taking the time to send in the message. I appreciate every message I received. And he says, I'm really impressed by everything you achieved. And after all, your physique is exactly what I would like to get someday in the future. So, so he says, really ripped, but in a good way, not too huge. And this is something, I mean, again, I'm very humbled that my physique and my work for the YouTube channel and these videos and this community has inspired more people to become the strongest, leanest, best version of themselves. I mean, again, it's pretty awesome. And he says, I just have one quick, simple question for you. He says, my name is Matt. I'm 23 and I've been working out for more than two years. I've always been extremely small and not a typical skinny person, but more like skinny fat. And someday I just got too tired of being small, so I decided to start working out and get some muscle. So he says, I managed to gain more than 40 pounds of body weight. He says uh, he went from 130 pounds to 171 pounds at meter 70 uh, centimeters in height. And he got much stronger in every compound lift. He says, I knew this, uh, that the skinny fat process is a two-step process. So for a long time, I was not afraid of getting body fat. But lately, I've started to get really demotivated seeing that even though I am 40 pounds heavier, giving my best during every single workout, I still look skinny and fat at the same time. So his concern is that he's looking skinny and he's not big enough, right? So he's still not that, at that right size, but he's now also a little bit fat, right? So he didn't change much. And says, below I'm sending two pictures of me, one taken exactly in the day I decided to start going to the gym. And the other one I took yesterday. So the question is, do you think that I should start cutting in right now for the first time in my life or should I build more muscle since I'm still too small to look good after a cut? Thank you very much for your time, Matt. Great case study, great email, message overall, great transformation. I mean, if you look at the before and after, I'm going to put this again. I mean, this is insane, right? 40 pounds of muscle, 40 pounds of body weight. Of course, some of it might be body fat, but if you look at this picture here that I'm looking at my phone, I mean, he looks leaner, right? He even looks leaner after gaining so much weight because he has more size. He has a lot more muscle mass, which makes him look leaner, even though he's probably gained a little bit of body fat as well. And that's where skinny guys, a lot of them are a little bit paranoid when it comes to gaining uh, size because they're like afraid, okay, I'm going to get even more fat. But if you do things properly, if you of course take care of your diet, if you eat a high quality um, diet and with plenty of protein, if you get stronger in the gym and if you really invest time in, in the compound lifts, this is a, a generally a normal scenario. This is a normal occurrence. So keep in mind, I mean, this person on the right here on the transformation looks much, much better than, than the person on the left. I mean, it looks like He's very, very strong. His arms, his shoulders, his chest is much, much bigger. Uh, abs even show a little bit. You see the first row of abs. I mean, they're very blocky. They're big. And this is a great transformation. I want to give a prop to Matt. I mean, he made a fantastic transformation. He's no longer skinny fat. You know, this is a guy who lives and this is a guy who has now been a lot closer to his potential and now he has a choice whether he can go cutting or he can go continue bulking. So what he should like, what's kind of the um, suggested scenario, how to continue this. So my recommendation out right now for Matt uh, would be to change things up, to, to actually go for that cut. And the reason why I'm saying that is that he might rediscover more motivation on the journey if he goes for a cut right now. There wouldn't be anything wrong if he continued gaining a little bit more, but going on a cut right now would let him reveal all those great gains he has made in the last couple of years and being leaner in general will actually make him look even bigger. So when he goes down to that 150 to 160 range, probably between 150, 155, he's going to be very, very lean and he can get there 
within 12 weeks if he does it properly. So for the first six weeks, I would say that he can go a little bit more aggressive, probably about uh, one and a half pounds per week loss, maybe a little bit higher than that for the first six weeks, then take a diet break and then continue losing fat until he reaches that kind of point where you can see his abs clearly and then he can decide whether to maintain or go on a lean gaining phase. So when we're talking about that second phase of cutting, that's probably gonna be between half a pound and a pound per week, maybe a little bit more than that. So you wanna go a little bit less aggressive after a while when you kind of, uh, enter those ranges where you're fairly lean. So you don't wanna to go too aggressive because now you're gonna compromise muscle mass because there's less body fat to burn. So you are gonna tap into more of those muscle reserves. So uh, after the cut, I mean, now you can maintain, right? There's no pressure to go in a lean gaining phase again. I mean, I'm saying lean gaining because I'm a big fan of having specific goals, whether it's lean gaining or losing body fat. I mean, of course, you can stay in a recomp or just basically caloric maintenance, eat high quality uh, protein, have a great diet and get stronger in the gym. You're still going to be building muscle and that's going to be increasing your size. You're also going to be burning a little bit of body fat, but it's not going to be an aggressive change in either direction. So it's going to be kind of that slower approach. But if you're happy with your size, that's also a viable option. On the other hand, you can go for a lean gaining phase and put on more size. Now you can put on a little bit uh, slower and then you can cut again afterwards to even leaner stages. You can get really, really shredded. So, I mean, it, it's about staying in that range of about 10 to 15% body fat. You still have abs at the end of the quote unquote bulk and then you go and you get really, really shredded. Then you continue gaining and it's kind of alternating those periods until you're happy at some point and you decide, okay, it's time to maintain and recomp and that should be fine. So that's kind of my suggestion for this scenario. It's a great transformation. I want to thank Matt again for sending it in. And I want to invite you guys as well to send in your case studies to the email that is going to be in the description below. These are very, very exciting and insightful to break down. There's a lot of things that we can go into. I mean, this is a very, very simple case here where Matt has done a lot of things right. And it's a great example for skinny fat guys is don't be afraid of gaining, right? If you're getting stronger at the gym, if you're eating a high quality diet, if you're getting your sleep, if you're really investing and putting in the effort and challenging yourself, you're gonna look fantastic. I mean, this is a great transformation. I mean, this is a guy who lives, who looks huge at 170 centimeters at this weight, 171 pounds. He looks fantastic. I mean, he doesn't look small after all. I mean, he's put on so much weight that is insane even to think about that he is too small. I mean, for a natural lifter, this is fantastic. I mean, that those are great results. So again, thanks, Matt. Thanks for sending in. Hope this was helpful for you. Uh, let me know in the comments below for you guys if you have any questions on the transformation. What do you think about this type of video with the case studies being broken down and analyzed? Aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to support the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.